Hey guys, it's Walk here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your DJ controller uh, right into your PC and then using it in order to record your mixes uh, through Audacity right here. So first of all, I'm going to be starting by mentioning the sort of equipment you guys are going to need and then I'm going to be going into details how to connect it through Audacity and so on. So first of all, let's start by mentioning the equipment that uh, we're going to need. Uh, before I begin guys, I forget to tell you this thing. Um, most of the time people face this problem when they connect their, when they, you know, they want to record their mixes through Audacity when they're using the controllers is that uh, most of the time we all know that the controllers just mainly have one output. Most of the controllers out there, they just have one output. So it's a problem for people mainly, that's the issue, that they cannot listen to their mixes while they want to record their mix, while they're going to be recording it at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to be starting by showing you guys the equipment that we're going to need. So first of all, we're going to need an AUX cord. And the A, I'm sorry, yeah, not an AUX cord, the uh, audio splitter. And as you guys can see, uh, this is an audio splitter. Uh, any sort of audio splitter would do. It should be looking similar to this one, uh, a male to female ports. Um, so uh, if you guys, uh, this is like the most important cable that we're going to use out of the bunch because it's going to be helping us in order to suppress the audio an audio splitter so right here we have our audio splitter and then as you guys could see clearly we have an RCA cable uh, to an uh, <clears throat> to an a to an AUX cord end right here so as you guys could see it's an RCA cable to an uh, AUX cord end you guys could find those in the market anywhere uh, but you also need this it's very important so uh, and finally we have our AUX cord the normal AX cord, which is mainly connected to your PC speakers, uh, like those ones, for example, that I'm having right now. They don't really have to look similar to these ones. You just need the PC end that you're going to find in most of the, you know, PC speakers. So anyways, I'm going to be right now connecting them and showing you guys how it's, uh, how you guys are going to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to be, I'm going to be needing my hands for this. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be right back. Uh, yeah, I'm back and uh, right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your cables and everything. So first of all, you have your uh, <clears throat> AUX cord to, your, to an RCA cable and you connect it right into your audio splitter. It's uh, fairly simple. The same thing you're going to do with your uh, normal PC output right here. <clears throat> then when you're done doing that, you, you will have your uh, audio splitter one end. Uh, you just want to connect it right into your line end. Let me show you real quick. Mm -mm, sorry so uh, yeah right here and it's gonna be going into your line in or you know the microphone input we're gonna be changing that uh, in the options later on audacity so you're ready to go you got your RCA cables <coughs> uh, AUX to an AUX and connected right here and your PC output which is sorry the PC speakers right here so right now you could listen to your music at the same time while you're trying to record. It's fairly simple. Uh, right now I'm going to be going right into Audacity on my PC and showing you guys how to set it up. I'm going to be right back. Um, hey guys, right now I'm back into Audacity as you guys could see. So once you download Audacity, you're going to find this menu right here. And uh, for you guys to download Audacity, I'm going to be leaving like a link in the description below. Make sure to check it out in order to download to get your free download of audacity it's totally free you guys need to pay nothing at all so anyways uh in order to before we start recording our mixes or like you know songs or whatever it is you just want to make sure that your uh, setup is done properly <clears throat> so in order to do that you just want to go into your edit right here then go into preferences preferences and preference yeah <clears throat> sorry english is not my first language whatever <laughs> you just want to go right here and then click on devices and you want to make sure that you're in the recording section. You want to make sure that your device is set into Microsoft Sound Mapper. Or, you know, if you're using Apple, I guess it's going to be something like Line In or Chord In. I'm not exactly sure. Just want to make sure that it's Microsoft Sound Mapper. You don't want to make sure, you don't want to make it into microphones. This microphone quality is not really that good because you're going to end up with lots of background noises. I mean, it's going to be loud, that's all. So it's not going to sound good. So, anyways, you just want to make sure that it's Microsoft Sound Mapper and you're just gonna hit on, you're just gonna click OK. So that's it, you're done uh, setting up everything and you're ready to start recording your mix. <clears throat> so before you do that, you wanna make sure that you start monitoring and to do that, you just wanna, uh, you, could, you guys could see this uh, bar right here, you just make sure you click it. And once you start playing your song, you guys gonna see that your levels are being monitored. 
Uh, and in order to stop recording your mix, actually, you're just going to hit the record button right here. And now you're pretty much recording. As you can see, the sound forms, the sound, the waveform of your music. Um, so anyways, once you're done recording your mix and everything, you just want to make sure that you stop, uh, you know, pause it, and uh, like stop it and then click on the stop uh, option right here. And once you're done that, you want to make sure that you would be able to export it into a form so that you could, you know, um, save it later. And in order to do that, you just want to go into file and then export audio. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so anyways, right now, once you're done that, you want to make sure to, uh, this window will pop up and you want to make sure to select your destination right here and then uh, give your file uh, the name that you want to. Um, whatever it is, I just... You know, you can name it whatever you, you guys want to name it to, and make sure that your save as type could be, you know, it could be anything, but personally, I prefer MP3 file. So uh, once you've done that, you want to make sure that you go on save, and press OK, hit OK right here. Uh, so that's it, you're done. Um, once you're done that, uh, your mix automatically is going to be saved into destination that you've saved it in, and you're ready to, you know. Uh, save it into a whatever guy whatever you want to save it into but I, you know just before you you guys use audacity I just want to give you guys like a quick head up heads up uh, that the you know the quality that you guys are gonna get from audacity is gonna be limited depending on your sound card if you have like a really good sound card it might sound good but anyways uh, you're gonna end up with lots of background noises I'm not 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 really like lots of background noises but like it's not gonna sound to be honest like you know pretty much professional so uh, for you guys to make it, you know, sound better, you might want to download or like, you know, buy uh, like a DJ software like I'm using right here, which is Tractor Pro 2. Um, so uh, it's or like Serato DJ or any sort of, uh, you know, DJ software. Since, you know, the recording quality of Audacity is not really that much of high quality. Uh, eventually you need to upgrade, but this is just like a temporary solution for all of you guys who just want to, you know, record their mixes, show it to your friends and so on. Uh, you, just, you just don't want to spend lots of money on recording, so, you know, like DJ softwares and so on. Um, anyways, hope you guys like this video. And by the way, guys, I already did like a video in where I used Audacity. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave like an annotation right somewhere around here. I don't know. Uh, you could click it and it take you right into the video. Um, but I guess that's all for today. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did like it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And hopefully I'm going to be seeing you guys next time. Goodbye for now.